guys, it's Lily Age here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create um, a cool 3D intro for free. So, um, and you don't even download anything. And so yeah. So go to panzoid.com. Once there, you're going to want to click Clip Maker. I think I use two. Yes, Clip Maker two. And they will have all these templates for you to make 3D intros, and um, they're really cool. Um, you can just uh, click on one, and then you can click this little eyeball, and you can play it. To be honest, I thought that one was really cool. Or you can start from scratch. I usually click a template and uh, really customize it. So um, let me see which one this is. Hmm, I don't think that's my thing. Um, let's see. Uh, I kind of liked this one. That one was really cool because it like. It had this really cool thing at the ending, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I'm definitely going with that one. So then you load the project. Oh, no, sorry, my bad. Okay, so now that you have this up, um, you don't need to change your resolution. I usually don't do that. Go to this little, excuse me. So go to this cube and click the text, because you're probably not going to want the text panzoid. And type in whatever you want. Um, let's see. I'm just going to type in Lily for now. And then they have all these fonts. You can't use your own, but you can use their fonts. And then you can change the size, the height, or the kind of like 3D-ness of it. <laughs> the bevel. The bevel, I don't think, does much, actually, to be honest. You can, like, just, and to change these numbers, you drag your mouse, so it's, so you don't have to type them in, but if you really want to, then. Uh, I actually do want it in the center, and then you can change its position by changing these. Um, I don't fiddle with these too much, because I just don't really want to mess it up. But, these are good to use, like, I kind of like it like that. And then kind of turned, maybe, sort of maybe like that, which looks kind of cool. You can change the scale, like that. That. Uh, yeah. Um, and the appearance, I don't fiddle with the appearance, but if you really feel like fiddling with it, <laughs> it just sometimes ruins it terribly, so. Um, I usually, yeah, it's, it's, one time I was just about done with this intro, and I was thinking, hmm, maybe if I change the color it would look better, and then about half an hour later, why did I change the color? So, um, and then you can go, <clears throat> Sometimes I forget, um, because it's kind of complicated. You can go, and, oh yes, you go back right here, and then you can add a particle. See these things? These are the particles. So as you can see, these are the particles, and you can change the number of them. I got some more, actually, because it looks kind of cool. Um, you can change the rate of how fast they go. Particle lifetime, meaning how long they last. Gravity, you can change kind of their position. See, like something like that. Just I don't. It's not that important, but sometimes I like doing it. Um. Uh. So that looks kind of cool. And then you can also you can even change what it looks like. So you can even change your um your little thing. Um. So, I, I don't know, I kind of like the one that was there, but, you know, I lost it, so, you know, it's kind of pretty. And I kind of, I love the rings, as you notice, I use them all the time. I like the rings there as well, it just looks nice. And then, to change how many rings there are, because there's obviously too many, I think, you go to the number of particles and change it lower, lower, I like the way to 50, even. So there we go, that looks better. And then, um, I don't really mess with these much. Oh, shake, I like the shakes. 
Um, so you can change the shake, shake speed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that looks a little crazy, so now I'm going to play this. Thank you for watching. Um, bye.